It's a scene that is reminiscent of those you see in war zones, but this is California, and the enemies are marijuana growers. This is the Emerald Triangle, the three biggest marijuana producing counties in the United States. We have a rare look tonight inside an American industry that gives an entirely different meaning to going green. Men don't dope. Put your lighters up to the Emerald Triangle. High grade. Men don't got the dope. Humboldt's got high grade. Trinity's got that THC, so pass it my way. It's the Emerald Tribe Put your lighters up high for the Emerald Tribe Mendo's got the dope, Humboldt's got high grade Trinity's got that THC, so pass it my way This the Emerald Tribe Put your lighters up high for the Emerald Tribe First off, we hitting Mendo, doping my M is up Shout out to all the growers, slide in and say what's up Respect to every farmer, cultivating the bomb This is the land of the flame and we bout to get it on Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Mendo Dope Mountain Garden. Woo! Mendo Dope Family Farms. Chilling here today, we got special guest Andrew with Biotactics. And what we're about everybody? to be lacing it up with massive bugs out here and show you guys the real organic, um, shit, I mean, the yeah, IPM, IPM method. IPM. Yep. IPM, so this year we're going for 100% organic on this mountain. We're trying to do everything crazy. We're doing the no-till and we're doing the IPM methods. We're going to be uh, introducing a whole shitload of cool ass bugs, so we're going to get into detail right now, show you how we keep these girls clean. Yeah, I mean, how many bugs did you bring out today? Uh, I, I got uh, 120,000. 120,000. <laughs> wow! 60,000 oxygen talus, which are uh, good for high heat and russet and spider mites, and then some, and then 60,000 californicus, which are native to this area. And they, they eat broad, broad mites and spider mites as well. That's so. what we like to hear right there. We're gonna do some preventing. So we're gonna take you through the garden and, and show you exactly how it's done with the professional biotactics. Time to release the bugs. <laughs> Let's do it. That's a combination of Oxidentalis and Californicus. They're hungry. The smaller ones are the Oxidentalis. Uh, the large ones are the Californicus. All right, so the the first thing you want to do is check the cat for activity. Lots of it. Use those. Next, put the cat back on. Mix it up. The predators naturally crawl up, so you want to start at the bottom, about a quarter of the way up. Shake it and circle the plant. About halfway up. And then, Get some on top and let them fall through the middle. A little bit in the cover for good measure. And leave the bottle right in the middle there. They'll find their way up. And now this plant is protected. Easy as that. So what are those bugs, uh, what can you break down about those bugs right there going to little, what are they all about? What do they do? All they do is eat, mate, and hunt. That's what they're bred to do. That's what they're, they don't have eyes. All, all, all they have are big noses that follow the pheromones that get released when a pest is attacking a plant so uh, you just want to introduce them to the plant and they'll, they'll do the work from there they'll, they'll do what they do what eat about mate and hunt what people say about them pooping uh, you're you, you should be more worried about pest poop uh, most of, uh, of the, the energy 
that the uh, that the pre that the predators get from eating the pests, just like few, uh, food is fuel for for us, is turned into eggs. And then what about when you harvest? What do the bugs do by the end of the time if they're still on there? Do they? Do they're long gone. Because they 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 follow the pheromones of the of the pests eat, eating the the leaves. So uh, if there's no pests eating the leaves, they're gonna leave and hunt elsewhere. So they're they're gone. You're, you're, you're not smoking predators. And the 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 predators will uh, stick to the leaves more more than the buds themselves. Um, because that, that's where the pests are. They, they like the chlorophyll. Um, it's, a, it's a danger for both the pests and the, uh, the predators, you know, to get stuck on the, on the trikes. All right, this is, a, this is a good sized plant. So if you're gonna strictly use predators, you're gonna wanna use probably about 3,000, two to 3,000. If you're uh, dealing with russets, uh, less than that for spider mites. For preventative, uh, even less than that. But you definitely want to treat your threat areas, your landscapes around, because that's that's where all your threats are coming from. So if if you go in and pre-treat everything right before you plant, you you'll have to use less predators on your crop itself. Nice. So. I like that. So what do you want to do before you set these bugs off onto the plant? I, I like to wet them first. It helps the bugs stick. Click the cap. Throw the cap in there. Start about a quarter of the way up. And circle the plant. They naturally crawl up. So, if you start lower, you're gonna get that, na that natural activity from the predators. And then, all over the top. However you want to do it. And once the bottle is empty, leave it at the bottom of the stock. So the, the predators that, that are left in the bottle can make their way up the plant. Make sure to get the inside, because that's what the rust is like. If, if that's what you're dealing with, which from the phone calls that I've been getting, quite a few people have been dealing with them up in this area. Yep, and even us, we have uh, last year had a little problem and we've seen a couple this year. And there's a couple reasons why we think it could have happened. So these days, I think it's just very good to be preventative. The very first sign you see, and we'll show you some signs of the very first initial hunt. Like you saw what we saw, it's very light, huh? small little damage, but you can see russets are on a couple plants here. Huh? Yeah, you, you, you definitely want to uh, apply the predators before you see the russets. Yep. Because by the time you see them, they're clumped up. Or, or if you see red tips, uh, that's quarantine uh, state Yeah. by that time. And then what about now with the Grand Evo and the other sprays? There's sprays you could spray with bugs and there's sprays you can't spray with these bugs, right? Yes, uh, no oils. They, they, they clog the, um, the pores of the, the, the predators. Um, they, they, they respirate through, through their legs. So uh, the oils clog those pores ju ju just like they do sp spider mites. But uh, if you're using 
you know, neem oil and predators, you're canceling out. Yep. You know. So, you so be real serious. What's a what's a good use. spray to use with the uh, <laughs> going with the bugs? Well, I'm uh, I'm not I'm not a maroon bio rep, but uh, I am a fan of their products. Uh, I've tested their uh, their their products um, along with my predators, and uh, they don't hurt the predators. That's true. So uh, there is certain sprays out there. Yeah, any pesticide really, uh, any anything that's illegal now will uh, will hurt the predators. Forbid, Avid, um, Azadiractin. Yeah, and as Azimax. everyone knows. We vow never to use Avid. Yep, we're not trying to go that chemical route. It's all about organics and fighting bugs with bugs sounds like the most organic thing you could do. It's it's happening right now up in that tree. It's happening in that tree. Yeah. So you want it to happen in your trees. And that's what you see when you see the russets. A little dusty kind of just weird little tiny tiny little specks you guys ready uh, yeah sprinkle me timbers <laughs> Low-flying planes. <laughs> yeah, it's that cannabis culture music. Down to my roots. Yes, sir. Would you like to go at it? You want to fight? Yes, I would. <laughs> Shoo! We're getting on double on this one. Yeah, unless you want to go on the ladder. Oh, for the. Mic stand? Mm -hmm. Now we gotta keep the mic stand clean. It's gotta be clean. It's cherry gasm too. So delicious. Huh? TGA, huh? Yep. He's got some good stuff. Everything in here is TGA except for those white cherry truffles and that jarro in the back. Okay. She's been bugged. 2,000 bugs? Do you guys have any discus? We gon' take them worldwide High grade mind state flow full of game From the emerald triangle land of the flame I came from the underground broke through the surface Fingerprints are resting on the paper writing verses Serve this dough uncut from the lab Getting vibes from the weed that I'm pulling out the bag My pants stack low so much throw in my pocket So I pull it out break it down finger chop it Smelling like dank slipping rhymes make them lose it Mendocino dope cannabis culture music Cannabis culture music. Fingerprints are resin on the paper, writing verses. Get your fingerprints are resin, 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 resin. Get your, get your fingers sticking together when twisting this. It's that Mendo. You know I got my Tennis shoes dirty and my eyes blood red. I'm a West Coast cultivator, chronic in my head. We ain't in it for the bread, we just in it getting funky. Bleasy on the beat, you can hear it out the country. Knocking, black in the garden, cooking up a tune. Outdoor studio, chilling underneath the moon. Dang vibes in the valley of redwoods. Tied up my boots with the troops and step foot. Soldiers, we march on the front line. We don't need a thousand watt light, got the sunshine. Outdoor, home of the best, the stickiest. Get your fingers sticking together. When twisting it and I'm kicking it, looking up at 10 foot trees, yelling out Mendo over seven different seas, north, south, west to the east. It's a movement, Mendocino dope, cannabis culture music. <laughs> All right, ready? I think so. What's up, everybody? Uh, we we just dropped about uh, two to four thousand uh, pre predators per plant on these giants here, uh, Occidentalis and Californicus. Uh, your your uh, your main three threats: spider mites, russet mites, broad mites. Uh, so they're fully protected. Murder them. Cover crop. Uh, Even the surrounding area is a little laced. Yep. A little walk through. Yeah, because that's where they're coming from, all around. 
we, we got bags for flour, bottles for veg. Biotactics. Biotactics. That's how it's done. Real deal. Predator bugs, Check organic, clean. Warriors. Battling bugs right here. <laughs> and we will keep the footage going to show you through the end of the year how good they work too. So yeah. just keep on watching. All right. Peace, guys. Peace. But then you yeah, ever say I'm yeah. the same Cause I never get it out One day, one day I know This time will come, my friend One way, one love, one heart, one destiny yeah.